Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's episode, we got a lot lined up for you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like to my to this video. And again, share with friends. Today I have a lot lined up for you, including the BBI initiative, which has been immensely endorsed by more than 40 county assemblies. But again, the effect of the isolation of the central part of Kenya. Keep tuned as usual. This is David Kennedy, and the name of the show has changed today. It is Bongana Loco, which means local opinions for Kenyan objectives. As we saw last week, BBI initiative was uh, under discussion and is currently, currently under discussion in the county assemblies. The BBI initiative is under discussion in the county assemblies and public education, that is public participation is being done by different counties all over the country. So far, 40, more than 40 county assemblies have immensely endorsed the BBI initiative. And according to the law and the protocols that should be followed is that all speakers of the county assemblies should write a successive letter to acknowledge that the BBI initiative has been passed in their county assemblies to the two biggest houses of the country, that is the Senate House and the National Assembly. Now, after the BBI has been passed by at most all the counties, all the county assemblies, now it will be the duty of the National Assemblies and the two assemblies now to decide. Oh, and they are expected to pass the bill, which after they passing the bill, the bill will be brought again to the Kenyans and Kenyans will be expected to vote to endorse in the initiative so that the Constitution Amendment Bill 2020 2021 will be a successive amendment of the Constitution 2010 which is being propelled by different leaders in Kenya. Now, this initiative now has caused a lot of differences and now especially the Tanga Tanga movement which now is facing a very big, big, very big hit after the county assemblies have endorsed immensely the initiative. What will what will the boss of Tanga Tanga, that is the Deputy President William Ruto, His Excellency Doctor, do? Because this initiative is immensely being supported by the county assemblies, with only one county assembly having to reject the initiative, of which several people have come out to say that voting was not done appropriately in that county, that is Baringo County. People are, are expecting for the referendum very soon. Despite that, the court has stopped any amendment of the constitution before some three cases have, have been had. Well, that is about BBI. Let's come to know the, how the isolation has affected the central part of Kenya. I've come across this video, which really astonished me because some of the people are disrespecting the president. Remember that the president is in power until August 2022 when the general elections will be announced by the IEBC. Well, I come around this video in Dandora when the president was addressing the people and they were not ready to listen to him. 
which is very much unfortunate. Check on it. Kama mtoto wa Pandora anapata sasa kazi tulia 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 Now that was the His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta when he was addressing sometimes black people in Dandora and they were not ready to listen to him. I think supposedly that is the effect of the BBI. No, that is the effect of the Asla Nation. And I have another one here that I came across also with this old, like she's aged. She's saying that. She's learned, but her mom was poor. Uh, the interest is how she's speaking her English. She's very aged, by the way, but she got a very good English. Just check her it is. She says she wants to meet His Excellency, the Dr. William Ruto. Just check her it. somewhere in central of Kenya, central part of Kenya, where His Excellency, the President of the country, of the nation, was visiting. And now, some of these citizens were caught up, just saying this, praising the Wilbur nation, the Astor nation. Now see how these citizens were having to talk against His Excellency, the President, too bad. Just check out this. 
That was the reaction of the citizens when His Excellency the President visited that area. And that is the affection that has been brought by the Hustle Nation and the dynasty or the systems which people are calling the other systems. Again, I want to tell Kenyans that we have to understand that the President is still in power until August 2022 when the general elections will be held and that we should respect the President despite of everything. Again, we've got impressed that the, our President is one, one of the most simple guy that we can meet ever. Again, I came across another video where His Excellency the President was there just walking majestically with something, I don't know, it is a stick or it is a metal. He was walking alone, no bodyguard. He was there, very, very happy, joking alone, walking alone. His Excellency the President. And these guys are urging him to listen or to watch. To watch Maisha Magic East Africa. You know, these guys are telling him to watch. And he said he has watched. Selena, our president, this will be, believe me you, this is the only president with such characters we'll ever see in Kenya. How are you, sir? Oh, oh my goodness, what? <laughs> ah, have a good day. Honor Selena. Honor Selena, my shamatikist. <laughs> Back to BBI. BBI initiative is created and it has given the county assemblies 35%, which is more than 15% that the counties are getting. Of course, that is one of the best benefits that BBI is going to give the counties. But again, we have another question. Will the wage bill increase? Yes, it will. According to Musalia Mudavadi, who was once an economy, leader and that is the minister of finance in this country says the wage bill will rise because the increase of the members of the national assembly from 300 to like more than 600 that will increase the wage bill of the civil servants in the country which the question is will the pressure come to the normal citizen who are paying the taxes also see that choices have consequences and the consequences that is coming is that we are going to pay taxes to cover for the wages of these guys and again we must do that well it's our question today was just an educational part that we ought to respect the president and that the bbis is going to increase the wage bill of kenya 
Now, 2022 has very many candidates who have announced to vie for the presidency. First, who was the deputy president, Stephen Kalonso Musioka, is still, is still interested in the presidency seat. Hassan Joho of Mombasa is still interested in the seat. Musalia Mudawadi is still interested in the seat. The governor of Makueni, Kivula Kibwana, is still interested in the seat. Not forgetting the governor, doctor of Machakos County, Alfred Mutua, is still interested in the seat. And again, we have very many leaders. That is Dr. Kitui, is still interested in the seat. Not forgetting, we don't know the stand of Raila Odinga, whether he will be interested in the seat. We have very many people. So, they say that the, med, the larger the choices, it increases how you make the decision. So, we don't know whether they will come. But again, Musalia Mudavati, Kalonzo Musioka, and Gideon Moy seem to form a coalition which he denies to say the name. But we are expecting in the future a coalition because they are seen working together and campaigning for their candidates. Again, we are still following the stories and we will bring you right here in our channel. Right here in JD's channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we watch this and we will be interested to listen to it. This is Bonga Naloko. I would like to see your views about that. Comment that. Inbox me. We're gonna talk. Goodbye for now. But again, don't forget to comment, subscribe and like to my YouTube channel and share to friends. Goodbye.